Yeah, I mean, arguably, you shouldn't experience a major change from drinking more salt and water and putting compression socks on. If your body functions even a little bit, like that shouldn't help a ton. It may help for short periods of time and it may help a little bit. But I think maybe we're confusing or conflating like what is feeling better. So the feeling better that comes with having some salt and water and socks is different than feeling better that is healthy. And I think we want to make sure that we're understanding where those two things are different. And if we're not feeling better from just expanding volume and adding socks, great let's get to solving the actual problem at hand. And if we can do that, we're trying to move you toward health. I think one of the reasons why, when you look at the, at the medical literature on things like POTS, they say there is no cure for POTS, but I don't think anybody's looking. I think most of the time when people are evaluating POTS from a research perspective, we're so focused on the symptoms that we're forgetting to solve the underlying problem. And I think we really need to stop and actually pay attention to what's failing and work toward health rather than just eliminating the symptom or masking the symptom. So the reality that not having enough sodium in your diet would be the problem is just crazy to start with because if you think about the diet that is kind of the most standard American diet that people consume is loaded with salt. So the bullish numbers that we look at when we look at the research around how much salt people are taking is like incredibly high, even relative to historic standards. So if the argument is that salt would be the treatment, you would be basically saying that someone has a deficiency in the amount of salt they're consuming or specifically sodium that they're consuming. And there's just not great evidence that that's true. We have way more evidence that would suggest that people are eating way too much sodium already. So yes, by increasing salt, you can expand blood volume, you can swell people up, you can give them a, a quick change in how that would feel. But we're talking about over hours, days, weeks. When we're dealing with young people, we really have to think about like, how does this look over the next year, five years, 10 years, 30 years? We have to start solving the problem on a longer time frame. I'm aware of the fact that it absolutely sucks to be going through this, but taking the quick band-aid solution may prevent you from actually just getting through and getting to the solution that may last more of like a lifetime. So to me, that's more interesting. How do we get to a place where maybe it takes longer, maybe it's harder, but we actually get to a solution that will last you for a lifetime.